Hi, I'm Mark Johnson. Uh, this quick video is going to show you how to debug memory crashes in your iPhone apps using Instruments and NSZombie. Uh, this is written up on my blog, markj.net, where you can uh, download this test program. Okay, so the test program uh, is called Zombie Debug. Uh, it's a very simple app. It's just got uh, a view with a label in it and a button, Tap Me. And then inside the view controller, zombie debug view controller, we've got an NS mutable array. What we're going to do is we're going to stick stuff in the array. Uh, in fact, when we tap the button, this me this <coughs> method gets called. We make a new object. It's an instance of an NS number. We stick a random value in it, and um, we add that to the array, and then we call rewrite text rewrite text loops over the objects in the array builds up a mutable string uh, with those values and then updates the label uh, so we can see when we tap the button we get a new number the label gets updated when we tap it again though the object crashes and you can see the d in the console output the crash is bad access this means that the program tried to send a message or call a method on an object that was already deleted. Every program is nightmare to try to debug this in C or Objective-C. Uh, but it's easy to do using instruments. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I go up to the uh, Run menu, Run with Performance Tool, Object Allocations. And instrument starts up. It starts the thing running, but I want to stop it initially because we need to uh, configure this instrument. We want to enable NS Zombie Detection, and we want to record reference counts. Enable NS Zombie Detection turns on this feature, which I'm going to show you. And reference counts means that uh, the instrument will record all of the uh, memory events, the 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 retain count memory events for every object. And then we can run again. Let's get rid of that. So we tap and everything's fine. We tap again and the program crashes. But because we have NS Zombie enabled, instruments intercepted that. Now, NS Zombie is an object that the runtime puts in place of anything that gets deleted. So the object gets deleted. We try to send the deleted object a message program crashes however there's now an NS zombie object in its place which is able to intercept that message um, and give us this debugging information now if we um, click this little button here it goes to show us all of the events that's recorded for an object at that memory address now in the history of the program there could have been more than one object at that memory address um, we're just interested in the one that caused the crash uh, and here there in fact there was only one this time we can see it's a CF number. A CF number is really an NS number in our in our program. And we can see uh, its full history of everything that happened to it in memory. It got allocated, it got auto-released, uh, retained, released, released, and here's where it crashed. Uh, if we press this button down here, we can get stack trace information for um, uh, for the object. Now it's worth noting um, I have these options invert stack and um, file icon uh, in my instruments which help us uh, help us easily locate our own code in the stack trace. Uh, so let's see where it was malloced uh, in our code. The, here's our .m file zombie debug view controller. We just double click on that and it opens up. It says it was on line 40 right there. So we look on line 40, indeed, that's where we allocated our NS number. Um, it wasn't allocked, it wasn't created with alloc or copy by ourselves, so it must it's an auto-release object at this point. We tap down here, we go back to that history view, uh, there was the auto-release, and we can see it was retained. That's, in fact, when we put it inside the array, you can see there, it's uh, in the add object method, it got retained. Um, and it got released twice. Well, the second release was uh, the auto-release pool itself. Um, so that is was the release, which was a result of the it being auto-released up here. That was correct. 
So this release then is the only thing that might be releasing in the wrong place. We can double click, it said line 23. Well, line 23 didn't release our object. Uh, it doesn't always get the line numbers exactly right, but you can see on line 25 we released our object. Well, if you look at this method, it's looping over the object array, it's building up the string, um, and it's going ahead and it's releasing everything that loop as it goes around the loop. Everything that came out of the array, it's not removing things from the array or, or doing something else with the object, so really shouldn't be releasing it. That is the memory bug. We want to fix it. We can tap on the Xcode icon. It takes us right to that line. We can get rid of it. We'll build and run again. And hey presto, our application works, it doesn't crash. So that's how easy it is to debug memory crashes using instruments and NSZombie. Thanks very much.